I pray she comes. She's already attracted. Maybe she she's she she sees something she's in need of. I guess there's something she likes on my table. Let her just come. My storehouse is big, very big. She will come. Thank God she's coming. <laughs> Good afternoon, you are welcome. Yes. Please, madam. Welcome, you are welcome. Please, good man. Yes. Are you really sure all these things are for free? Because, sorry, I saw buying without money. Yes. That means they are free. Yes. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you. You can actually buy it without money. You can buy for free. But I, I will check if you are qualified. Do, do you think you need any of this? Listen, I have a big store out here. These are just sample of what are in my store out. So I have them in large quantities. Do, do you see anything you need there? I need many of them. Okay, come closer. Let me check if you are qualified. Alright. Like I said, I need to check. And be sure, listen to me. I need to check and be sure if you are qualified or not. Qualified? Yes. Mm. My daughter, you are not qualified. I will explain some things to you. Listen, there are two criteria. That will determine where you are, whether you are qualified or not. Two of them. You pass the one, but you fail the other one. I will come back to that. Listen, I will tell you three things. Just three things. And they are from my world. Those three things are from my world. Are you listening? The thought of those three things will tell you those two things. But well, let me come back to why all these things are available. See, the first word I want to tell you is in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. Do you know what this is? <laughs> this is my word. Isaiah 55, verse 1 says, Oh, everyone that tested, that is, everyone that is tested. Come ye to the waters and the living water. And the living water. And that's how you can see water on the table. Listen. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy, and eat. Yeah. Come buy wine. of God and you know the Bible and you know I'm reading the Bible you are wondering at me I'm coming there I will get you I'll get to the point that explains why you are not qualified but first why did I say that I've paid the price for everything you need on there everything be it peace be it good it's not only material things apart from this I have a lot of things in my storehouse including parts of the body would have problem with their internal organs. I have them in my store.
store house, not only visible days, I can make it available to everyone. But they need to meet up. If they want it for me, listen, the devil can provide all these things. The devil can provide it, but it will not last. But if you want it for me, you have to meet up with the criteria. You have to meet up. You have to meet up. So, let me go on. The second one I want to read for you, that we even portray this point, is in the book of Matthew. Let me read from my word. Matthew 11, verse 28. Eh? You can come closer. Come closer. Hmm? Matthew 11, 28. Say, come unto me, all oh, ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. That's another category of things that are invisible. That I also have in my storehouse peace of mind, rest, good health, labor from all the troubles of this world. All ye that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Those that are sorrowful, those that are mourning, I have joy, peace in abundance. So it's not only physical things like this, but you will still be wondering that why are you now not qualified? And I said, come, all ye. Do you know one of the things that is general to everybody? He's coming to me. Come. You notice, you can't, come, you can't get all these things without coming. Do you realize that? Mm. So, the way it is, is for you to come unto me first. When you get to me, you become a member of my household. Hmm? Let me read another scripture. And that's what we let you know what you are missing. In this old day, something is missing. I will read the third scripture to you. Then you will know what you are missing. That's Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Let me read to you. He said, But seek ye first. Seek ye first. Did I say second? First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You know why I say you are not qualified? Did you say you are born again? But yet you are still missing out on something. I notice ever since you got born again, you are not seeking after my righteousness. You are just relaxed. You just want to enjoy things. In my kingdom, you want to enjoy peace, you want to enjoy prosperity, you want to enjoy everything that is available. But the word says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You came quite all right, but you are not seeking after righteousness. I saw that you are just living your life anyhow. Righteousness has not been serious in your mind, you are not pursuing after holiness. Somebody came before you. He missed out completely. The man came before you. He missed out completely. You know why? He, he has never given his life to Jesus. Secondly, definitely, you will miss out on the second one, which is righteousness. Except you come, you can't be seeking righteousness. But many of you, you came, but you neglected righteousness. And that's the reason for so many people in the kingdom toiling up till now. They came into the kingdom, but righteousness is not their thing. They live anyhow. In fact, there's no difference between them and the world. And they expect that I will do things to them, for them rather. It's not possible. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You know the complete. In the remaining part of that scripture, do you know? Let me read it again. Matthew 6, 33. For seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, all these things, and many other things I told you about, they will be added unto you. They will be added unto you. 
So why you are not qualified? If you came into the kingdom of God, you are already in my household. But you are not pursuing after righteousness. This is even a warning that you should wake up now. Beyond the fact that you are missing out on some of these things, if I come the way you are doing, what will be your loss? Anyone that is not seeking after righteousness, if I come, apart from things like this, they will miss out on the most important thing, which is my kingdom. And they will go inside on fire. Eternal damnation. That will not be your portion, Jesus. So this is a call for you to wake up. Wake up beyond these things. Another thing that someone that is not seeking after righteousness can miss out on is my kingdom. Such persons will go into hell fire. So it's not enough to come into my kingdom. It's not enough to be a member of my household. Eh? Seek the righteousness of his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything, all these things shall be added on you. All those things that others are dying to get. That some are going to the devil to get it. I will give you cheaply. So seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. Some claim to be seeking the kingdom because they are in the church. That's why I'm explaining to you this way. Because they come to church, some of them are even very serious. Some of them are dicky. Dickies. Some of them, some of them, some of them are pastors. Some of them are ushers in the church, choir members. So, and they are very active. Because they are active, they talk to themselves that they are seeking the kingdom. They are only seeking activity. They are not seeking after my righteousness. The righteousness of my kingdom. Without righteousness, the Bible says without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And where will you see the Lord? In the heaven. That means without holiness. Anybody without holiness at my coming, we only see the devil in hell fire. So it's beyond all this. There's something worth more than this. Please, check it. And next time you come around, when everything is in place, you will have access to them. So, forget about this thing. Focus on seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. Don't forget the righteousness. At my coming, you must be found so that you can go with me. So, please, go and work on yourself. Probably, when next you pass, you will be qualified. Thank you. Work on yourself. Thank you. Tell every other person in your church, in your neighborhood, in your family, tell them to work on themselves. That they must seek after my kingdom and his righteousness. They should not remove that righteousness. Righteousness. Work on yourself. For adventure, when there's you fact, you will be qualified. Thank you. Leo. Thank you.